Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for very much for tuning in to another video. So we have some updates to give you where the Miramar Invitational is concerned at the Anson Sports Complex in Miramar, Florida. Yes, and uh, the women's first round of the 100 meters have been um, finished and uh, definitely we have some updates where that is concerned for you. So in the heat one you understand you have melissa jefferson 11.43 seconds taking the top honors in that one the wind reading was negative point negative 2.5 meters per second um we normally thought this would have been an hurricane but yeah it is hurricane the other way <laughs> you understand jada baylark was uh second 11.56 uh, seconds Kiara Parker, 11.61 seconds. Tina Clayton was in fourth, 11.69 uh, clocking. And Christina Knott, 11.86. They were the um, qualifiers from that round. Uh, Javian Oliver did not start, as well as Shakora Wallace of Jamaica. She did not start in Heat 1. And over in E2, we see where Destiny Smith Barnett, she... We took that one in 11.42 seconds uh, ahead of Sasha Lee Forbes, 11.51 uh, seconds. Uh, Simone Darius, 11.67 seconds. Anderson Taylor, 11.69 seconds. Finette Agipong, 11.89 seconds. Yannick Dale of Jamaica, 11.94 seconds. And Kashika Cameron of Jamaica, she did not start in this one so quite a number of athletes not showing up in that one and in he two he two of the sorry e3 uh which is the final heat uh the wind reading in this one was negative 3.5 meters per second Oh my word, the second heat was in neg uh, negative 2.2 meters per second. So, I mean, they are in hurricane uh, type wind uh, over there in Florida. So, English Gardner, the veteran from the United States, she took that one in 11.64 seconds ahead of Jamaica's rising champion, Alana Reed. Yes, Alana Reed opened and she clocked 11.69 seconds for second. Uh, she was ahead of Natasha Morrison, another Jamaican, 11.79 seconds. Uh, Lorraine Williams, 12.18 seconds. And Midori McCase, 11.27 seconds. That's an interesting name, McCase. <laughs> she needs to make haste. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Alasia Johnson did not start. Tia Clayton did not start. Celera Barnes did not start. I don't know what is happening, people, but this is a quick update on what is taking place in the event over there in Miramar, Florida. So, I mean, season opener for Alana Reed, not a bad season opener, uh, finishing second behind an uh, English gardener. That's not a, a bad look for her. Uh, opening up her season 11.69 uh, we know that she's uh, way ahead of that but that's not a bad opener for her in my estimation so we definitely look forward to see how uh, Alana Reed will progress as she goes on Tina same time 11.69 uh, Sasha Lee Forbes 11.51 uh, Yannick Dale 11.94 and Natasha Morris 11.79 um, it, it, I'm not certain if, if, if these MVP athletes are really ready. Is that the reason why the likes of um, Sherika Jackson is out? I don't know. Is something happening there at MVP? I don't know, people. But anyways, er, is it early season when it's now April, May, June, July? It's pretty close, you know. Basically, them have two months for trials, you know. Which a lot of things can happen in two months. That's like eight weeks. Go on an eight week cycle and you can refine the athletes, you know, in order to allow them to do what they are doing. But listen, it's not really early season right now, you know. April winner, people. April. 
So me now buy this early season talk, you know. You understand? So who who think this early season talk is is a thing? Um boy I'm gonna like it people. I don't like it. You understand? And again we 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 have a Kishane Thompson not showing up for that event. That is another concern. Kishane Thompson not showing up. You know what I mean? And 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 I am trust me. Me not me not like how it look, people. Me not like how it look. Um, for the fans out there, it's not a good look. I mean, the fans have um have to be patient where the athletes are concerned. But is it a case where these athletes are? Injured and them just not show up because they are injured. Why are they billed? Is it that after they um do their testing, if I realize that yo them nah them not ready, and him decide to withdraw them from the meet? Is that the situation? Why? Me not know enough people, but. It's not a good look. So in, in, in the first in the first heat, Diego Gonzalez 10-4-4 ahead of Aaron Brown 10-45. Those are the two qualifiers. And the DNS is beside Kishin Thompson's name. So obviously the boss never roll out people. You understand? So that that in itself is is it's something to think about, you know. Boy, people, I don't know what else to say, you know. I don't know what else to say, but it is what it is as it stands, where these athletes seem to be having issues. And we're not sure if these issues are going to be shared with the public. Um, or the MVP can stay, boy. I mean, I don't know if them are going to share that, you know. But, this is our next meet, Kishi and Pulota. You understand? So, we don't know what's going on. So, right now, I just temper my expectation, you know, people. Yeah, man, I temper my expectation right now. Because, guess what? Me don't want to build up my hopes. Based on what I hear from early season, you know. We hear some bag of things that are going to happen, you know. You see me, I say? You see me, I say? Me no know. Early season, me year, say, whole heap of things are going to happen. Man gets stronger. Man are going to run fast. Yo, me no know where I go on, people. But, still, a, 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 a good stretch to go. So, let us see how this one can go. Um, Rowan Watson taking heat to in 10.57 seconds Rowan Watson ahead of Andre Hewers 10.61 seconds not a bad run for Andre for him to uh, to come back yeah man that's a good look good look for uh, Andre Hewers so two Jamaicans taking the top spot in this one he too of the men's 100 meters first round you get what I'm saying so big up to these athletes, Rowan and Andre, back in the game. Andre back in the game. So that is a good look um, to see them um, in the form that they are in. Season opener. 10.5 creditable credible, um, opener. I don't know. Still, there's a stretch to go, but... If 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 we look at it, it's not that really long, you know. Mm -hmm. April, May, then June at trials. Pretty close. And after trials, you have to really tape on out for the Olympics. So, I'm not pretty sure what is happening. But let us see Heat, heat 3. We have three Jamaicans in Heat 3. Um, Johan Blake, Michael Campbell, Akeem Blake. I hope this, 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 uh, I hope none of them no pull out of that one, you know, people. Yeah, man, I hope none of them no pull out of that one. So, yeah, the, the race has finally concluded. Yeah, man, and we have the qualifiers for this one. Um, In Heat 3, 
we have Akeem Blake taking the top spot, 10.25. Courtney Lindsay of United States, 10.32. Yohan Blake, 10.44. Um, Ronnie Baker, 10.47. Kyrie King, 10.47. Um, the Japanese Yuki, 10.57. Michael Campbell, 10.64. So, pretty much... Everybody qualify from now on here. You understand? And in in apparently they're gonna have semi finals in the people. So we don't know how them are gonna do it. But that is that. So yeah. Yohan Blake third. Akeem Blake first. Akeem Blake seemed to have the fastest time going into the next round of the competition. Yohan Blake the fourth fastest. You understand? So that is that. Your thoughts.